Hey everybody, my brother and I today went out to a baseball card store after our flea market stops and in the corner I noticed a new feature, grab bags for $3 a piece and each grab bag contained one game used relic and one autograph. So I decided to buy all of them and we're going to open them up right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are opening these grab bags that I picked up at a baseball card store that my brother and I went to today. I bought every single grab bag they had, and the selling point of each one of these is that there is one game used relic and one autograph within each and every one of these. So I haven't opened these up. I don't know if they're gonna be good. I don't know if they're gonna be crap. We're gonna find out together. We're gonna open all 18 in this video, and hopefully there's some good stuff here. So we'll start over here and just work our way through. You can see that I guess these were put out on maybe like October 19th. They were $3 a piece plus tax. So I ended up paying $54 plus tax for all these. I don't know if I need scissors or not. Might make it a little bit easier. So hopefully we get our money money's worth out of this. And hopefully it's not just a bunch of like 1991 Fleer and 1992 Triple Play and stuff like that in here. All right, our first grab bag. Of course, there's some football. So... I don't know much about football whatsoever, so I'm hoping these aren't all football or else that would be awful. So um, for you football fans, we have a Dalton Schultz and a David Boston as our two hits. Couldn't tell you a thing about either of those guys, but we do have some baseball cards in here, luckily. We've got Corey Seager, and then we have Travis Darno. So we have some recent cards here from 2018 as our filler cards. See if there's any decent stars or semi-stars. And then there's some random wrestling cards. And I don't know who any of those guys are, even though I used to watch wrestling. And then some more football cards. So this is multi-sport. If I had known that, maybe I would not have bought all of them. But let's hope that the uh, some of the hits at least are baseball. At least half of them. I mean, it seems like most of the stuff in the store was baseball cards. And we have a hit right here. It's a baseball player. It's Jimmy Scherfe from the Diamondbacks Signature Series and Johnny Estrada Upper Deck. I think this is like 2009 Upper Deck. Game Use Relic are our two hits. So it looks like most of the um, hits are probably going to be of the dollar variety, like a, a 50 cent or dollar autograph and a 50 cent or dollar hit. So our next pack, we have some opening day cards in there. Trey Turner, Jacob DeGrom, no rookie cards. And then for you football fans out there, we've got some football players, which I won't even bother saying their names except for Kurt Warner because I've actually heard of him and Peyton Manning because I've heard of him before. If you're new to the channel, I do not deal with football whatsoever. I'm strictly baseball. Here's our next pack. Next grab bag. The hit is an A.J. Lewis, and this one is numbered out of 10. Numbered 7 of 10 is our auto. And from the Rivercats, we have a young player, Michael Choice, from the Sacramento Rivercats from Heritage from a few years ago, uh, 2013, it looks like. So more than a few years ago. Some more dollar relics. So let's see. We have Nicky Delmonico, rookie card, some opening day stuff, Max Scherzer, it's looking like a lot of these are going to be featuring good old opening day, which is probably like the cheapest pack you can buy out there. It's 99 cents a pack. If you pick up a um, pick up a pack out at Walmart or whatever, when they come out, usually about two weeks before opening day in mid-March, you can pick those up. Come out every year. It's a nice set for kids that want to buy some cards on the cheap, not spend a bunch of money. All right, so here's our next pack. We have. A Jody Garrett, Jody Garrett, former pirate, and um, he also was a former brewer, Jody Garrett, and a football player here named Jordan Taylor, rookie ticket from Panini, looks like Panini Chronicles or something, I don't know. Russell Wilson's on the back, I've heard of him, and we have some football players, which I'll just kind of gloss over real quick. Is there any baseball cards in this grab bag at all? No, it's a, there's some Matt Hardy. I remember him from the Hardy Boys from WWE. Russell Wilson, I've heard of him. All right, so next pack in this multi-sport grab bag. I think since there's so many football cards in here, I'll probably just sell all these as one big lot and try to get 
some of my money back. I, I doubt I'll get all $54. There's Joe Randa. Joe Randa, former Royal, former Bucko. And we also have Saturday Swatches, Amir Abdullah from Nebraska. Never heard of him. Here's our filler cards. We have another Matt Hardy WWE card from Tops. I didn't even know they made WWE cards. Let's see if there's any baseball cards in this one. Tom Brady, for you Brady fans out there, I know him. That's one name that I do know. Then we have some WWE players. And, or not players, but wrestlers. Don't know any of them either. Next pack. My brother and I went to, I think, four different stops today on our travels. And um, I, in addition to these grab bags, I also bought some grab boxes. We have Antonio Andrews and this guy, Jared Sullinger from Select. Score Select. And there's some baseball cards in there. It looks like it's opening day. I tried to get a bulk discount on all these. I went to the um, cashier and said, if I buy all these, can I get a discount? Like, you know, hoping maybe knock five bucks off. 10 bucks off whatever, and she's like, I don't think so. She obviously wasn't the owner of the place. I was hoping that maybe she would call the owner and be like, hey, someone's going to buy all these grab bags that have been sitting here since October 19th. He wants to know if I'll knock any money off, but it wasn't to be. Antonio Andrews is the autograph and chasing history, Giovanni Gallardo, 200 strikeout seasons. Game use memorabilia from Gallardo. Looks like we have some non-opening day cards in here, which is pretty nice. We start off with Jordan Zimmerman, who had just an awful year last year, 2017 tops. And there's, are these gold cards? Looks like they're not numbered. Kind of a little bit of a gold background to it. Another Matt Hardy. It's like our third Matt Hardy card from the Hardy Boys. Matt and Jeff Hardy, I do remember that. Some football players here for you football fans. All right, next pack. We are almost halfway through all these grab bags. <clears throat> I also picked up some more grab bags at the flea market. Only two of them, though, so we'll open those in the flea market recap. But anyway, we have Levi Norwood and a basketball player, Greg Monroe, from the Pistons, out of 99 for you football and basketball fans. <clears throat> Got a Craig Kimbrell opening day from 2018 on the back of this one. And Christian Vasquez before opening day has a weird hairdo, it looks like. Red tint color to it. So Stone Cold Steve Austin. I think everybody remembers him. And some WWE Sting, I remember him. WWE Women's Circuit Wrestlers. And some football, and there's the Kimbrell. All right, next pack up, eBay tape on these. I don't know if these are available on eBay or not. I don't know the seller's name. I thought that the uh, card store was run by, I think it's called Main Street Hobby in Johnstown. I might be wrong. Where's the hit? It looks like it's inside. Got scared there for a second. Usually, so far, the hit's always been outside of the team bag, but we have Justin Fargus, collegiate cuts, some football player, and got some baseball. The autograph must be on the back. Yohan Moncada rookie card, probably the best rookie that we've found so far. Steve Pierce gold. Ozzie Smith doing a backflip. I, I love that. That's a great picture there of Ozzie Smith. Look at that height that he could get. He was definitely one of the best fielding shortstops of all time, and that's why he's in the Hall of Fame. His offensive stats are not that good. It wasn't, it wasn't the greatest with the bat. But with the glove, he was something else. The Wizard. The Wizard of Oz, Ozzie Smith. All right, next pack. We've got a baseball auto here. It is from Michael Rattery. Michael Rattery, 18 of 25. Or Rattery, I don't even know who that is. It's some guy from Houston. 2014, it looks like that card is from. And we also have Eric Chavez. That is a better name. It's a game used relic. Chrome Town Heroes. Eric Chavez had a nice career. So that one's not too shabby. And then it looks like we've got a bunch of football cards in here. Maybe we'll find Andrew Luck, who I heard his name. 
and Troy Aikman. I know Andrew Luck was booed off the field, I guess. There's Juju Smith-Schuster. Hear his name on the radio around here in Pittsburgh every now and again. There's Anthony Rendon. be nice if I could get a Rendon rookie out of one of these, but that's probably unlikely. And some guy named Nick Mullins. So I guess this is a, grab bags are a good way for stores to get rid of their their overstock and their inventory that they don't really want out anymore. Stuff that you know they can't really sell. Because obviously not a lot of people are, are going to buy. Um, I don't know, like a Michael Rattery autograph. Even if you put it out there for a buck, probably wouldn't sell. In our next pack, we have Josh Tolley and Dontrell Willis, authentic game-used jersey. And I don't know why they had to put the sticker like directly over his face. They did that also with Jody Garrett. Kind of rude. It's like they didn't really care too much about showcasing the card. But Dontrell Willis was a good player back in the day. You might remember him from his wind-up. He was also a great hitter. And some football cards. For the football fans, I'll try to go through them so you can see the names, but I'm not going to read off every name just because that would be boring. Is that Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, I've heard of Aaron Rodgers before. Like I said, I don't think, I think the last time I watched a football game might be 1995. I want to say like a Neil O'Donnell name comes to mind. Neil O'Donnell quarterback, I think it was a Super Bowl for the Steelers. That's pretty much the last time I remember actually sitting down and watching a football game from whistle to whistle. Next pack, we have a Jason Bay, 244 out of 325 game-used MLB apparel. Jason Bay had a pretty nice career, former rookie of the year for the Buccos, cashed in with a nice contract with the uh, Red Sox and Mets, and then he, I guess when he signed with the Mets, he forgot how to play, and he was out of baseball a few years later. There's Keith Mumphrey. That is our auto. Keith Mumphrey, whoever that is. All right, here's our base cards. We've got a Javi Baez. Always like that card. Nice picture on it. And we've got some wrestlers again. And, of course, some football. If I was making grab bags and I had my own store, I would put a chase card or cards in the grab bags. My brother and I used to buy grab bags all the time at our local store. And there was always redemption cards. Like, they had numbers on them, like a prize number. And if you pulled that prize number out of a grab bag, you got to redeem it and go up to the uh, go up to the counter. And you would, He had, like, a big board with all the redemptions on there so you could see what was still left in the grab bags. It was pretty awesome. At least it gives you something to chase after. There's Donnie Hart. Chrome from the Orioles. That's from 2017. Haven't heard of Donnie Hart before. And Drew Smiley with the sticker right over his face. Drew Smiley was hurt last year, but I think he'll be back very soon in time for next year. He's not too bad. Nolan Arenado, 87 designs on the back. That's a good sign. Hopefully there's a few of those and not a bunch of football cards. No offense, wrestling fans or football fans, but I don't really care for these other. They have rookie cards for wrestlers? No way, Jose. Here's the... Football cards, I guess, sorry if I went too fast. You can always go back and put it in half speed in the settings, 0.5, if you really want to see those names. And then there's Nolan Arenado, there's the 87, and a WWE card. So we're down to these last five grab bags for this video. Let's see if we can, I, I don't even know, what would you guys say the best hit is so far? For me, it's probably either Dontrell Willis or Eric Chavez. I don't know anything about the other sports, so I can't really comment on those we have vince maley and nba materials rockets rookie isaiah canaan i don't know if i even said that right never heard of him if you guys thought i was lying when i said i was 100 only baseball you can now see that i wasn't there's david Dahl rookie card from opening day matt moore rainbow parallel here's some football cards you can barely even see the names on them and there's our WWE, Andre the Giant. That's a good one. Andre the Giant, um, one of the guys at the flea market that we used to see all the time, would always tell me a story every time I went in there. He would say, wow, you're really tall. I'd be like, yep, thank you, I guess. I'm like, yeah, you're, I remember Andre the Giant. Like, he was really tall, too. And he would tell me about how he met him and uh, shook his hand and his whole um, 
his whole hand like swallowed up his up to his like um, elbow. Andre the Giant. I think he was like seven foot seven, five hundred pounds. I don't know. All right. So anyway, we have a two thousand and one rookie of this guy named Gary Baxter. That's probably worth about ten cents. Um, unless you're a relative of Gary Baxter, then you might want it. I have no idea who he is. And Ezekiel Elliott, I've heard that name before. And so lots of football. We have a hit here of Keith Mitchell from the New Orleans Saints. Game used, Pro Bowl worn jersey. Keith Mitchell. Like I said, what I'm probably going to do with all these is just take them, put them in an 800-count box, and um, just sell them to one of you, whoever wants them. I paid $54. I don't think I got $54 worth of value. Um, you can tell me if I'm wrong because I don't know about the football and basketball. We have Titus Davis and some guy named Will Fuller the fifth. Is it a game used? Yes, it is. Saturday swatches. Will Fuller the fifth. Interesting. And do we have any baseball cards in here whatsoever? I hope we do. There's an Odell Beckham Jr. I recognize that name from people trying to mimic his one-handed catch. And then there's another No Way Jose rookie card and absolutely no baseball in that grab bag whatsoever. I must have missed the note that said these were multi-sport. I was thinking about maybe buying one and opening it up and then going back and, you know, if it was good, buying all of them. But I figured, you know what? I see nothing but baseball cards out here. These are probably all baseball. Boy, was I wrong. So we got Josh Vitters from the Chicago Cubs. I believe he was the number three overall pick in the nation, and he never even made it to the big leagues. So if you're a Cubs fan, you probably cringe when you hear the name Josh Vitters. 19 of 500 there. And a Shane Carden uh, rookie ticket from Panini. Don't know anything about him either. Got some baseball cards in our next to last pack. See if there's anybody notable. There's Ronda Rousey. I recognize that name from MMA, and it's her rookie card. I don't know if there's any value to that whatsoever. And here's the football cards. And there's no more baseball cards in there. So we're down to our very final grab bag of the video. You can let me know in the comments what you think all of this together value-wise is worth. Is it worth $54 like I paid for the lot? Is it worth $100? Is it worth 5 bucks? Some of you might even say it's worth nothing, but we'll see. Our hit is this guy named Alex Robinson out of 75, Elite Extra Edition. Kind of looks a little bit scared. Alex Robinson from the Minnesota Twins. That's from 2016. And, um, yeah, it's um, probably only worth 50 cents, if that. And then performance art, Damare Carroll from the Atlanta Hawks. Game use jersey. And... We'll finish things off here with the remainder of this grab bag, the base cards, and see if there's anything decent in here whatsoever. Looks like this guy decided to get rid of a lot of his base cards this way, and um, not a bad idea. We all know Rob Gronkowski and Walter Payton, even if we don't follow football. And looks like that might be it for the baseball cards. We're down to football the rest of the way. All right, so that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. I hope if you're new here, you'll hit the subscribe button and also like the video if you liked it. Um, I will bring you the entire flea market video and all of our hunts that we went on today in a future video sometime coming up this week, early this week. Um, I also did buy some grab boxes. They had 4,000 count boxes for $7 a piece, and they were filled with what I assumed was their old 10 cent cards because this store that we went to used to have 10 cent cards and now they're all gone but there's these mysterious new grab boxes 4,000 cards for seven bucks so i picked up two of those we'll break those open probably in the recap of the uh, flea markets and the baseball card store video whenever i release that um, coming up very soon also we have a break coming up of 2019 tops holiday make sure that you check the community tab for the exact date and time for that break. I'd like to do it tomorrow, but it could get pushed back. 
um, I will post the exact time for you guys on the community tab. So make sure you hit that bell, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure you have a great rest of your evening. Good night, everybody.